Hello everyone and welcome back to the pod. I hope you are well and enjoying your running. I've got lots going on in my life at the moment. Ron and I have the Wonderland 65k this weekend, the Sri Chinmoy 100k in Canberra the 11th of September and then in some very big news Ron and I have bought a place and it settles on the 16th of September only five days after the 100k. What could go wrong? So a very busy month ahead for us especially when you factor in that we're going to be away so much and lots of packing to do. Now this could easily become a very stressful time but I've put some practices in place to help me with this. First of all I've been focusing on mindfulness and mindfulness meditations and all that sort of stuff. So it is for this very reason that I decided that this week's topic should be mindfulness and I have decided to run a 28 day mindfulness challenge to help all of you on your mindfulness journey. I've scheduled this very cleverly to start 19th of September after my crazy busy month. So stay tuned to the end of the pod to find out how to get on board with this challenge as I'm sure it's to be a very transformative experience. Okay, so let's talk about mindfulness. Mindfulness is a quality of being present and fully engaged with whatever we're doing at the moment, free from distractions or judgment and aware of our thoughts and feelings without actually getting caught up in them and judging them as well. It means maintaining a moment by moment awareness of our thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations and surrounding environment through a gentle nurturing lens, meaning we're not criticizing ourselves for our thoughts or or for not staying present. Mindfulness, as alluded to before, involves acceptance, meaning that we pay attention to our thoughts and feelings, like I said, without judging them without believing, for instance, that there's a right or wrong way to think or feel in a given moment if we're, you know, to be successful with our mindfulness. When we practice mindfulness, our thoughts tune into what we're sensing in the present moment rather than rehashing the past or imagining and projecting into the future, which, you know, we all do that to a certain extent. It also means we are fully paying attention to the environment around us and living in the present moment, so to speak, which is really hard to do, I know. All right, let's just take a short break to thank our sponsors and to hear from a happy client. Studies have shown that practicing mindfulness, even for just a few weeks, can bring a variety of physical, psychological and social benefits. Now, Here are some of the benefits I'll go over, which extend across many different settings, meaning it's not just in running that you get your benefits, although we're all looking for benefits in running. Mindfulness is good for our bodies. A study found that after just eight weeks of training, practicing mindfulness meditation boosts our immune system's ability to fight off illness. How cool is that? Practicing mindfulness may also improve sleep quality, and I'm sure we all could do with a bit of that. Mindfulness is good for our minds. Funnily enough, several studies have found that mindfulness increases positive emotions whilst also reducing negative emotions and stress. Indeed, at least one study suggests it may be as good as antidepressants in fighting depression and preventing relapse. And if you combine that with running, how awesome is that? Mindfulness actually changes our brains. Researchers find that it increases density of grey matter in brain regions linked to learning, memory, emotion regulation and empathy. Mindfulness helps us focus, which is something we all seem to struggle with lately, don't you think? Studies show that mindfulness um, improves, helps us tune out distractions and improves our memory, attention skills and decision making. Mindfulness fosters compassion and altruism, which I just sort of talked about a bit before too. Research suggests mindfulness training makes us more likely to help someone in need and increases activity in neural networks involved in understanding the suffering of others and regulating emotions. Evidence suggests it might boost self-compassion as well, which I think we all need a little bit more of when we think about our running and ourselves. There are many simple ways to practice mindfulness. Some examples include simply paying attention. We live in a very busy world. Try to take the time to experience your environment with all of your senses, touch, sound, sight, smell and taste. For example, when you go for a run, put the headphones away after you've listened to this podcast, of course, and, you know, that way you can focus better and notice the feel of the air, sun or rain on your skin, the sound of your feet on the ground, the sound of the birds and and so on. Live in the moment. 
try to stay in the present moment without rehashing the past or crystal balling the future. <clears throat> the present moment is all you currently have and will soon enough be the past anyway. Obviously, you do need to plan for your future, but that's something different. We're talking about just being in the present moment at the moment. Accept yourself. Treat yourself the way you would treat a good friend. The amount of times I hear people, myself included sometimes, say things about themselves that they would never say to a friend is, is very saddening, and I'm sure you've noticed the same. Focus on your breathing. When you have negative thoughts or feelings, focus on your breathing or do some actual breathing exercises. Focus on your breath as it moves in and out of your body. Sitting and focusing on your breathing for even just a minute can help to reduce stress. Why is mindfulness important for your running? Well, a run for the purpose of training itself, it does have many benefits, of course, we know this. Um, it can help you get fitter or faster and boost your serotonin levels to a certain extent. But when you add mindfulness into your run, it becomes the secret ingredient to overall well-being, including physical and mental health. Before we move on to the positive effect of mindfulness on your run, on the actual run itself, let me explain what a mindful run is. A mindful run, or you know, even doing it for any other workout, is part of a, a holistic approach to physical activities. It helps you understand better what is happening in your body and then allows you to utilize this knowledge to improve your physical and mental strength. A mindful run helps you use all your senses. By leaving those pesky headphones at home, which I, I'm, I was hesitant to do too, like I find it really hard, you become aware of every breath and the sensations in your body while doing these, doing different kinds of movements, you know, running, whatever you're doing. Mindfulness during a run also includes being present in the moment and aware of your thoughts potential discomfort and the sensations, for instance, in your feet while they touch the ground. It helps you truly experience every second of your run and get the most out of it. So how does mindfulness affect your run? Hmm. By concentrating on your mind and body, mindfulness reduces external distractions, believe it or not. Therefore, you are more relaxed without thinking about your speed, how far you've gone, how far you've got to go, personal best, Strava segments, and so on. By maintaining internal focus, you are ready or more ready to overcome your limitations. Also, because you are focused on the sensations in your body, injuries are less likely to happen because you'll, or, you know, to get worse. You'll notice the signs of discomfort and expand your limitations, if you know what I mean, because you'll feel it to start with and you'll know what to, you'll know to do something about it. All right, how to do mindfulness running. The first thing to remember when practicing mindful running is to really try to breathe through your nose. Mouth breathing is linked more to the stress-induced changes that can occur in your breathing. So nose breathing helps you relax and gets you into sort of the right frame of mind for um, running. <clears throat> if you find nasal breathing difficult, listen to episode 141 where I spoke to Patrick McCohen about this very topic. Basically, you can put the, those anti-snoring tapes um, on your nose to help you breathe through your nose if you find it difficult. I certainly do. One nostril seems to be smaller than the other. Um, mindfulness is all about the mind-body connection. So try to keep the inner conversation going with your body. Let go of the social expectations and social distractions, timings, tracking devices, you know, you watch points, you know, like normally I'm at this point by this time, you know, or anything similar which can shift your focus from internal feelings to external activities and objects. Don't measure time, so maybe even don't wear the watch. Oh, I don't know. I haven't quite got that far yet. And think about the technique. I find this easiest to do on your easy runs, obviously. And I'm not suggesting you do this on speed sessions, okay, because that's when you do need to focus on these things. Before you start your run, prepare for the mindful experience. Do a quick meditation to get out of any sort of state of stress that you might be in and prepare for your run. Of course, five to ten minutes, maybe just five, of deep breathing, you know, purposeful breathing will be enough to get you in the right state of mind for your run if you aren't comfortable meditating or, you know, you've got limited time. Once you've done the prep work, it's time to engage your focus on your sensations and mind. Start slowly and listen to your body to adjust your pace because you don't have the watch to do that. Check for the physical sensations as you speed up or slow down. How does it feel when you speed up? How does it feel when you slow down? As your heart and breath rate speed up, feel the warming up in your body your heart beating in your chest. Experience every sensation in your muscles. 
maintain that state of mind and internal focus but you know in the same sentence try not to think about the sensations just feel them so you're not evaluating this oh what does that mean oh you know what i mean <laughs> what about your thoughts once you maintain the awareness of, of bodily sensations focus on your mind stop replaying situations and scenarios in your head which is something i've always struggled with and use running or really any time of your any kind of workout as a time to express gratitude for your physical health if you feel like your thoughts are getting out of control focus on your breathing just count your breaths make sure that you're um they're not you're not huffing and puffing it will help you calm down in an instant and gain control over your mindful run don't think about the end of the run and what you'll do or if you like me what you'll eat <laughs> just feel every step and every movement your arms and, and so on moving slowly you'll increase your ability to be mindful you're not going to nail it the first time and you'll find that you enjoy your runs more or at least in a different way and of course you don't have to do it every run just some runs have you ever tried mindfulness in your runs or, or in everyday life? If you're anything like me at first, it was probably super hard to stick to. This is where sticking to a consistent mindfulness practice will help you solidify the habit. Having, having I can't speak today. I seem to do that every podcast, so why am I saying today? Having everything planned out for you with someone to be accountable to will help too. And that's where I come in. If you would like to give mindfulness in your running and general life a try, because it's not just for running, I am holding a 28-day mindfulness running challenge starting the 19th of September, as I said at the start. As part of this challenge, every seven days, you'll be given a week's worth of mindful activities that will help you on your mindfulness journey that we'll do day by day there'll be a private facebook group where we can all share our experiences and support each other as we complete this challenge as well as weekly zoom catch-up webinars where we can talk about the activities and what mindfulness in running and life looks like and what it means to us as well as deeper dives into mindfulness practices so you can learn more about this fascinating topic and practice and, and have more to take away with you. And there'll be some booklets and those sorts of things. If this sounds like something you would be interested in, check out the show notes for the link to register for the challenge. I would love to see you there. And I know you will get a lot out of it. I've worked really hard on this one. Now, please don't forget to rate, review and subscribe to help boost the podcast so other people can find it. Also, <clears throat> as always, make sure you get on board with peak chocolate seriously the best chocolate out there and i used to love lynn and only eat lynn now i'm only <laughs> peak chocolate it is fantastic for athletes with the energy bar great for runs and races and the rest bar perfect for before bed go to peakchocolate.com.au and use the discount code isabel ross all caps no spaces and with an o for isabel for 15 percent off at checkout Thanks for joining me today and have a great rest of your run. See you on the challenge.